while uh, Twitch figures out that I'm online. If they figure out I'm online. There we go. Twitch says I'm now live. Um, so we can... Uh <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we can... Um, I don't know. Do something. Oh, we can't minimize Twitch. I keep forgetting. It breaks. Okay, so last time what we were doing is we were looking at uh, centers of population. We did interrupt briefly to uh, help someone with a uh, C programming checkers game. Uh, but now we are back to the uh, centers of population. So I actually forgot where we were, but I think we're pretty close to the final result here, uh, which is where we convert um, dependent countries into a non-dependent, into their sovereign nation countries. So if th that is correct, then I should be able to do this and nothing will work. Let's try that again. Now, of course, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so I think maybe what's wrong here, in fact, now that I think about it, yeah, is because I need to, of course, SSH F again. And the password here is not public. <laughs> nice try, though. Okay, so sorry, let's go ahead and do that again. I'm not even sure rehash will help here, but let's find out. Um, okay, so apparently I broke it somehow. Line 104. Uh, let's take a look here. Okay, oh, unless... Okay, that was pretty easier to track down. Illegal division by zero at line 93, and I get the feeling that this might be because I need to give it an input or, or something. Because the way I originally designed this... Oh no, actually this looks okay. Um, so the only thing I'm thinking is maybe we have some place that has a population of zero. Um, is there any sort of while loop here? I mean, I don't think I any longer... Um, I think now I just do all straight read files, there should not be an issue. So let's go ahead and do a debug real quick. We will division by zero at 93. OK. GPDW National Grid. Um, we're getting this here at line 93. So this means we are trying to divide by zero right here, which suggests C info I pop is not being populated correctly. Uh, which should be done here, and this is for I split data. Data is pretty sure hard to find now. Yeah, so that should be fine. Um, all right, let's see what happens then. Um, yeah, and the data is not that bad here, so I think we can actually just say. Uh, I get the feeling I am missing something, by the way. So I don't. I don't think this is a natural. Okay, here we go. Uh, interesting, interesting. So it looks like we have, um, it looks pretty good here, and the division by zero error occurs at line 95, which suggests we get out of here. Huh. So do I ever actually assign C info pop? I think I do. I mean, I must, right? Um, yeah, I think I should define it over here. C info country J, so this should be defining C info pop. Okay, so why don't we do this? Um, we debug the hash that is C info dollar sign i, and I'm hoping this will just spit out a bunch of uh, spit out a bunch of uh, values, and we'll see. Maybe there is a country that has zero population. Um, should not have happened that quickly. A B W. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and put a little bit more in here. Let's see what that does. I is ABW, hash is empty. So the question here is, um, I guess the question here is, what, what country are we looking at? Maybe somehow I messed up the co computation of country. Let's take a look at that real quick. 
So that that looks okay. I mean, we do have a few three-letter. I wonder if FRNL is the problem, but it looks like there's a much bigger problem here. So ABW maybe does have zero population. It'd be funny if the very first one had. Um, um, so ABW does not even appear in my list of uh, C info hashes. So I think the problem here might be. Hmm. Okay. So the question is, how do we get C info? Uh, defined at all for this uh, for ABW where it shouldn't be so we say my country um, equals the hash CC code which for ABW is still ABW um, and this might be it this the problem here might be this line exactly uh, if we switch a country around we do not bother to get rid of it um, we do not bother get, it still has one element in the uh, in the hash which is the country which is the cc3 element and but nothing else is defined so that's probably a bad thing so let's see here uh, c info country through cc3 um, okay so that gives the cc3 of a given country and that occurs before we do any translation so is it um, let's see Yeah, and we can't actually get rid of this because um, the CC3 would only apply to that given part of the country. Once we convert the country to another country, uh, it doesn't apply anymore. So let's see. How do we get rid of that? So I think I think the easiest way to get rid of this would be um, over here when we look at the C info keys, we will ignore the ones. Uh, that have like uh, you know that have nothing but a CC3. Let's see if we can actually do that. Let's take a look at the keys for the ABW hash and see what happens. Um, CC3, and that's the only one there. So um, let's see. So if the keys is like basically equal to CC3. Um, Trying to figure out a really clean way of doing this. I don't really see it. Um, and I'm almost wondering uh, over here when we convert it to a two digit country code and then we further convert it again. So if the question is, um, So the problem is ABW appears to remain ABW. Well, no, it doesn't actually. It's converted. Um, but the CC3 remains. Uh, okay, so that's going to be the, the issue here. Um, so the country is hash CC ISO code. This is the. Uh, this is the. Uh, so here it says if we're going to change CC3 to 2.2. If conversions, conversions. See over here, we could before we do this conversion. Actually, we can't. I was going to say because we keep changing the country variable. Um, so we could, in theory, keep track of like an original country variable, and if country's been changed, we can delete the original country, um, the what we assign to over here. So let's see. CC info three country. Um, so here we could just say uh, something tells me this is unwise because we're going to change the country each time. The only thing, so this 3 to 2, that's fine. Conversions country, that's probably where if something happens, um, the 3 to 2 is no longer uh, a valid. So let's see if that's actually true. 
So this should just be dependent islands and stuff. This should never be a real country. YT, CK, FO, blah, blah, blah. Now, I want to see if AB... So ABW, what does that actually become? I guess we'll have to... Maybe we could find out. Uh, if I knew what I was doing. There's a file here that'll tell us what ABW becomes and then we'll see what's what's going on here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one I didn't want. So what are we using here? Um are we using no, I don't think we are, because there's a CC three there we are. It's gonna be a CC that's fine. Right, so Aruba. Jamaica, ooh, I wanna make ya. And this is actually the wrong file. We want the uh, one that's been corrected. Okay, CC2, CC3. Okay, so that becomes Aruba, and I think Aruba is gonna be one of the ones that are converting AW, right? So it gets converted from ABW to AW, and once it's converted, I think we have to say that the. Uh, we have to delete the CC3 of the um, of the original um, because here we're going to be assigning it. So if we actually change it here to a dep non-dependent country, I think we actually have to before we do the conversion. I think this is the only thing we assign to C info. Yeah, so we can here before we convert it, of course, or actually even after because it's not going to do anything. So now we're changing the country so we don't want to keep anything see info ab about the old country. All right, let's see what this does. Rock and roll. Nothing. Didn't help at all. Okay, so what went wrong? So delete see info country before the conversion. Um, so I guess I'm stumped as to how see info anything gets into C-Info after that. And I'm pretty sure delete C-Info country should get rid of the country as a key of C-Info. Um, and then over here we're assigning it with a d completely different country. Alright, so um, so groovy. Somehow we have not deleted um, this this key. And I'm wondering if that's one of those um, pearl weirdnesses where to delete the key, I don't know if we need to do, we may need to delete the CC3 first and then delete the country. I don't, I don't know if that's the case. We'll find out. If not, we'll go ahead and Google. Uh, we will go ahead and Google. Um, pearl. Delete key from hash. So uh, let's see. So this should be correct, right? I mean, uh, or delete hash key. Um, we talk about efficiency and stuff here, but let's see. This should pretty sure. Uh, delete the C info for this this country that we had, and then we're not going to add to it again. Um, and this is incorrect, I know, because we only want the country in there. So we're saying, and now we're going to say, what is it after we've deleted it? And this might be an issue because it's a two-dimensional hash. But let's find out. Deleted C info. K C info. Oh yeah. Here's the problem. Not only do we have to delete the uh, the translated two digit, the two number key, we also need to do the um, the three key for this country. So, in other words, the um, uh, this. 
So that deletes it for the two-digit stuff, the two-letter countries. The three-letter countries we have to delete is CC two to three, I think. Um, we have to change the back country back into its uh, uh, back into its original form, and I'm getting kind of unhappy with the way we're doing this. So let's 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 not do this. In fact, let's see if we can just do this. So this converts it twice. Okay. Um, and do we actually? I'm sure we use CC3 somewhere. We need it because we, we need to convert from it later, I think. Um, well, let's see, do we? Well, maybe we don't need the CC3. This is 2 to 3, but it's not. So we don't actually need to keep track of the com country's CC3. So the question becomes, does this even matter here? Is there any place we use uh, CC3? I don't think so, actually. So let's comment this line out. We won't even bother to keep track of it. Uh, and then we won't, can't, we won't assign it until it's much later in the, in the process. So we should be fine. And it looks like we are doing pretty good there. And let's see. Okay. Uh, the only thing that worries me now is that we have a very sort of blank third column there. And I'm wondering if that's because, um, let's see. What was I doing with CC3 that might have kept the, uh, the name there? Let's see. Okay, see hash country, national grid, blah, 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 blah. Uh, see hash. Doesn't matter. Um, somewhere there's something called a name zero. C info name zero, which we're getting from the uh, file of of country names. So, am I actually being dumb here and not? You know, I think over here where I'm getting all this information, the one thing I forgot to give get uh, is the name. But let me check real quick if that's correct. I, I, I don't. Maybe I don't even have the name there. Okay. Well, we're, oh, we're not in the right directory. So let's go to BC Git Center of World. And we do not have the country name here. So how are we converting from CC? the actual country name. Uh, let's see. Can you see info name zero? Yeah, the only thing I'm seeing is I don't see where I'm defining to be C info. Let's let's see where I am defining C so I define it there. Country CC3 we've decided not to do. Okay. So all of this, I'm still reading. Um, I'm reading through the data, which is the, the this file we're looking at here. Um, so this is presumably where we're getting the country name. And have I once again effed up by not bothering to to record the country name? Because I go through all this rigmarole. Um, but I don't see that I ever assign the name to anything. And so this is, I compute it, that's fantastic. And I thought I was going to go through all these little corrections, but for some reason I decided not to. And I'm trying to figure out what I meant to be doing here. Uh, that I So we get the name, and then as nearly as I can tell, we don't ever use it. Uh, which is bad. And... There was something that actually fixed all of this, I remember, that why we didn't need the names to be converted through Unicode. Um, and it might be this. And, well, no, that's only going to give it to us for uh, certain, certain, the dependent countries, not for all countries. So let's actually do something interesting here, and let's do a git diff between this version and the last good version. 
Uh, at least I hope it's the last good version. Okay, so got rid of those lines. And then... Okay. So... Okay. And let's see, I added some lines here about C info hash cc to country. Uh, added a lot of lines here, that's fine. But apparently I got rid of the, the naming convention, and I guess that would be... Um, yeah, there's a reason I did this. I wish I had my... Uh, well, I do have a recording of it, obviously. But I don't know how well that's going to go, so am I going to say... Um, let, me, let me see what I was trying to do here. I'm going to say debug name, and I think... I somehow can the, the file I'm using actually uses sort of the non um, the easy names, the ones that are not. Yeah, Bahamas, the Bolivia, Bonaire. Oh no, it doesn't. Wow. So how is it going to handle this? Let me see if anywhere in here the coat appears. So CCO results. GB National Grid. Oh. So I could have gotten it from the National Grid, which is, I think, where I wanted to get it from. Um, so let's see. So that, okay, so, so from the uh, National Grid data, so I don't need to get it from this other, from this uh, CC2 to CC3 things. National Grid. Okay. The file BC GPW National Grid is presumably... Okay, and it does have name zero in there, so we're good. So let's see what's going on here. C hash. So this should actually set C hash name zero. Hmm. Okay. There's, it seems like there should be a while loop here, but, but okay. Um. ISO code, UNSD code. All this good stuff should be... Uh, should be there. So I guess the question is, what do I end up... See, what does hash end up being? Because we're going line by line. If it's an empty line, we ignore it. If it begins with a value integer, we... We set the new country name, and this just seems hideously wrong somehow. Um, and it's like it definitely should be. Let's see if we can do the C hash of country. Watch, well, we can do it. Okay, and I'm almost sure that I somehow messed up. I got rid of a for loop here that we need very desperately. Well, that's not very helpful. All right, I'm pretty sure what I'm meant to do is this. And I have no idea how I got rid of it, and... Um, so, this is maybe a good time to see what the hell happened here. Assuming I have git tk installed, which I do. Awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at, uh, well, this is the the um, the BC pop center one. So let's see, did I get rid of a while somewhere in here? Um, sorry, a for loop rather, well, no, it would be a while. Okay, so not here, but let's go back to the next commit then. Hey. Where are we? Um, and I, I just want to find where we have that... Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. Grab that grid. Huh. OK. 
Okay. So I think we can actually just look at this file. And I'm going to say touching paths, cow bc pop center parse, because that's the only thing we really want to see the history for. Okay. Um, so let's go to the, the sort of the most earliest version first. Come on. Oh, come on. What are we doing? Prev, 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 prev. Apparently it loops around, which isn't great. But okay, so blah, 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 blah. We're looking for a while. So I think this is the current version here. That's good. But now let's go to next. And this might not be worth... Okay, next we're just looking for this guy. This might not be worth too much effort. I'm just sort of curious as to where... Because I know it worked when we had it for... Um, with the dependencies in there, that that worked totally well. So um, let's see. Let's see. So let's check point save here. Let's see. The very first time we did it. Yeah. So I have no idea how what file that was, but clearly that's what we meant to do. I think maybe. Who knows? Who cares? Okay. Now let's run this and see what happens. Let's even run it without a. Still not good because we're not getting the um, the name, but that might be because we're not referencing it correctly. So this should now have C hash, should have the country name. So from um, C hash, and that is from the country value uh, because that's what that's what this uh, file has, the country number, so to speak. Um, so this should just be over here, C hash name zero. Um, that can't be right. Because C hash is a two, yeah, so it's going to be C hash, whatever our country is here, which is dollar sign I. Um, I think that's right. Let's see what that does. Nope. Okay, so now let's be a little bit clearer of what we're getting here. Let's see. Um, and we don't need any of this anymore because we've decided that it's not, um, we're not going to use that. Although dependent data, so this is fine. Okay, so this is the one where we're going to try to try to build up some inf information. Um, so the C hash is going to be, the keys of C hash should be numbers that represent the, uh, the ID in the, in the um, GPW files, the one that we don't really keep track of that well. So let's go ahead and do this to make sure I understand. These should all be numbers now. And they are. Okay, good. So now the question is, how do we convert from a number to a CC2 value? Um, and I'm wondering if there's any place where we keep track of that. Um, and this might be where things get really ugly. Because we, we do here in C hash, keep track of let me see if anyone's actually watching. No one's watching except Lurks who doesn't really exist. Okay, so over here when we get this data, we do keep track of the value, we do keep track of the, the three digit we know that is ISO code. So so this might be where I had some ISO okay, so here we are. Um my country equals C hash. So that's the that's the, the three digit ISO code. And um Okay. So the ISO code will tell us the three digit I the three letter ISO code of the country. That's where the country starts off at. And here is maybe where we need to keep track of uh, the we don't have any way of tracking right now the uh, 
the the number of a given country. Um, so we, we convert the country name pretty nicely here, but we don't have a way of giving the number of the country uh, that we're that we've converted, and that might be a, a major issue here, because we don't want three-digit codes for countries that are not converted, but we do want it for countries that have not been converted. So maybe that's what this was trying to do here. C info country CC three is country. Um, so if we change it to a two-digit country, we still need to know. Hmm. Yeah, I think these these changes are fundamentally different. This one changes it from a three-digit uh, three-letter to a three two-letter code. Um, So, so this would be, um, yeah, so hash CC. Oh, hash CC might be the way to do it. So, so hash CC, hash, hash CC. Um, So I might I might have missed something here in this other file that I had. The one that I the one that I created the sort of uh, this this thing. Oh yeah, the CC here is the is the digit code. And now we need to know from there the um, the three digit ISO code. And from the three digit ISO code we need the name. which would be name zero. So, yeah. So let's try this again. Um, we're not going to do any dividing or anything. Let's just say So we're going to be testing here. Now I realize this, you know, um, I think I know what's wrong here now. Okay. So debug, we don't even need that. We need I and we need to know, uh, dollar sign I, we need to know the, uh, that's going to be a C info country. So country gets changed here to a CC2 digit thing. C info country CC3. And in this case country is. And I think this is going to help. Okay, so this does give us the 3 to 2 conversion very nicely. Uh, now we'll see if we can get the... Um, no, it actually doesn't. That's the 2-digit. Uh, um, let me make sure I'm doing this in the right place. Oh, no, I'm not. So hang on, let's get down to where we are. AVW, AFG, okay, so... So not every country has a CC3, why? The only country C-Info should know about is, uh, is the ones in the, the ones that have three-letter codes. So debug alpha, da, 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 I, and then the CC3 code which every country should have, but it looks like only the ones... Hmm. Is there something more fundamentally wrong here? Oh, you know what? Hang on. FRA we have, but we also have FR separately. So we're somehow getting these countries twice, which is not... Um, which may not be what we want. So let's see. Um, so let's even fix this here. Um, I think what we can do here is 
uh, country is the uh, IS the uh, conversion of the ISO code. Um, And then I think we can just keep track of the name of the country uh, here, uh, unless it loses its CC3 code somewhere. Okay, well, I'm stumped. All right, if there's going to be no help from the users in chat who do not exist, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this a little bit more deeply here. Okay, so the first thing we do, this converts 2 to 3, 3, and I don't think it includes... Um, Oh, it does actually include... I think the reason I didn't like this one was because it had funny characters in it, like Korakua. So, um, so this just converts 3 to 2, 2 to 3. Conversions converts from dependent territories to their sovereign equivalents. And this actually gives us the information we need for each country, the C hash. This converts um, country numbers to, to names. So C hash would be converting numbers to name, so the uh, C hash number. One thing we don't seem to have here, though, is a conversion from um, CC3 all the way up to the name. Because over here, we can convert CC3 to 2, but we don't know what the... we. So if we have, if we have the... Um, so here, I think, C hash country. So if we know the country, what the country is, we can get its CC3 code. So for example... Ada is fine. I was going to say beta, but ch. Uh, so if we know ch uh, hash, 100 is our country, uh, and we would know the um, ISO code. Um, and this would be the name. So let's see if that's that's working. That should just be very simple. BGR Bulgaria. Um, yeah, so that's that's the conversion from three to three to um, the three-digit code to the name, and the question is somewhere we might actually be losing the um, we might actually be losing the the i value here, which is uh, uh, let's see, the i value in data would be. I think this is the just from like so somewhere here we have CC which is the uh, yeah there we go um, so what we want to keep track of is the, the conversion between the ISO code um, and the three digit uh, and the three uh, number uh, country so ISO code, blah, 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 blah. Um, so this says my country is going to be C hash hash CC. Um, that's the code value and the ISO code. And that is going to give us the, the, uh, the three-letter value of it. And I think we now need to say somewhere here how do we get the name out of this? So when everything's been converted over here to two letters, do we still have a way of converting, uh, getting the name of the, uh, the the original country? And I think we can do that by converting two digits back to three digits. Yeah, let's try this. So what we want here is we have a uh, country is the two digit abbreviation uh, unless it's not. Crap. Because we don't know that either of these conversions actually occurred. Um, so let's let's go back over here. So over here we still have the CC3 code. We should probably be able to say my okay. My name equals C hash hash CC name zero. That's the country name. Um, we don't need to keep track of its CC3 code anymore. Um, we 
Okay, and if we go from 3 to 2, that doesn't change the country. This does change the country, so this means we can no longer, um, we can no longer give it a name. So the name has to become, like, empty. And now over here, we can finally say, boy, I wish I knew how to program. Let's see. So do this, do this, and this. Something is wrong here. Okay, hang on. That's fine, that's fine. Do I have a, I'm a, I have an off by one error here. There we go. Okay. Okay. So now, what we want to do is we say C info country uh, actually hash CC, do we mean? C no, we're fine. C info country name equals name. Um, yeah, and if we've done this correctly, there should never be a uh, non-existent name because we only wipe out the name if there's a conversion. And if there's a conversion, that means it's a dependent nation uh, not a uh, not an independent nation. So let's see what that does. Still won't work, but you know, yeah, it would be good if we got rid of the die testing. So it still won't work, by the way. But let's just see how it fails. Nice, nice, very nice. Oh yeah, we we're still testing. Alright, let's see what this does. Yep, still didn't work. Oh, actually, I think in this case, though, I know it why, because we need to use the name uh, C info I, and then we're just saying uh, name, because that's where we're sticking this. We're not using the CC hash value. Oh, great, here we go. Andorra, United Arab Emirates, Afghanistan, Antigua, Barbuda. Those are together, by the way. Oh, they are together. Okay. Now, let's see if there's any null names in here. Okay. So somehow China and Denmark have lost their names. Not cool. Oh, and so we have Fiji, Finland, France. That one's okay. FRNL is okay. GBR, which I, is oh well, Great Britain actually isn't a isn't a is just an island. And now, okay. So the question is, why do these things lose their names? Why does New Zealand lose its name? Um, and I think the problem here might be that we're killing off the name too soon. So let's take a look here. Um, so here we can be pretty clear and say debug dollar sign i and that's going to be a whole line actually goes to d. So fine here. Um, and if we go that far we should be fine. Now this assigns names to some countries that don't actually exist but I I think I'm okay with that. Um, um, so let's be really verbose here and figuring out what we're doing. Okay. Oh yeah, because we do the separation thing, it's actually uh, it's actually fine. So yeah, d destroying name for AS to US is fine. YT to FR, CK to NZ is fine. So now I'm beginning to wonder what happens when the real New Zealand shows up. Um, still should be fine though. Okay, Falkland for GB X. I'm not seeing anything really horrible here. I don't see where the target names are being destroyed, though. So, New Zealand should be, like, in here somewhere. There it is, New Zealand. Um, so, New Zealand doesn't get destroyed as a name, so it should get assigned right here. Um, 
that's just weird. The conversions are not bidirectional. <sighs> and that should give NZ its proper name. Let's see what's going on here. Um, signing NZ name to New Zealand. Perfectly kosher. Um, and the word name doesn't appear here, so there's no overwrite. So at this point, by the time I put it out here, C and Fly name should be correct. I don't think there's any place where I change it. I guess the only question here is, is I being the correct thing, but I mean it is. I want to call it I beta because there's a, I think there's a other I up there somewhere. So let's find out what's going on here. Zealand. I beta is going through all of these. And Z. And for some reason though, when it gets printed, NZ gets printed, NZ is fine here, fine. Assigning NZ name to. Now why doesn't that assign it to anything? Um, oh, this might be because I actually, after I convert the country, um, yeah, so now I've actually defined the country is now New Zealand and I've set its name to zero. Uh, which is not cool. So, um, so basically, I don't want to assign blank names. I want to do this. If names still exist, then do that. So that should be, this is code is getting really ugly, by the way. So we should probably, all right, give me some museum loving. There we go. Paraguay, Singapore. Salvador. Now let's see if there's still any blank names left. There might be a special case. I'm okay with this one. This is some weird territory that's owned by um, by uh, France and the Netherlands together. And I, I think we can ignore that line. We'll leave it in there, but we, we don't really need to worry about it. Um, Alright, so why is there a comma at the end of the these lines? Now, so I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to BC Gitify it from, uh, from over here from my other machine where you can't see. Because uh, I'm happy with the way this is working now. And we're approaching the part of the thing that I hate the most, which is the write-up, which is actually much, much harder than anything else, pretty much. Um, but we're going to do that anyway because, well, <laughs> I like talking to myself. Um, a lot, actually. And the cool thing is my voice sounds better in my own head than it does to you. So, screw you. Okay, um, so this looks like it's going to be um, the d with the non-dependencies there. So one thing we sort of want to make sure of is that uh, that with all of these um, that the changes that we've made are not too great. That means we haven't moved the centers of population uh, too far. And we haven't, uh, you know, the ones we the, the the lines we've gotten rid of are are um, reasonable to get rid of. So let's take a look here. I need to add that. Uh, let's see. And I need to clean this up. And I need. I don't think I have that alias here either. Oh, man, I definitely need to. Do I have that already on my list? That cleanup alias. And that just gets sort of Emacs droppings and stuff like that. So let's take a look here real quick. Um, pop center with devs, with depths. And I think I made the very foolish decision not to sort this. Um, so yay me.
And you'll notice I also changed the program, so now we can't really get back to the older version that generated the depths version, which is probably a bad idea. I should probably should have had a flag in there that, uh, that decides whether we change stuff or not. And I wonder if it's actually possible to do that. Let's see, this is... Um, um, hmm. I wonder if these are the only three lines that make a difference. All right. Um, and um, well, since we just saved it, let's be a good time to check. So let's see if we can add that as a flag now. Um, now, no depth is an RPM flag, so um, include dependencies um, as separate countries. So if I'm correct, the only thing we do if we have a dependency, in fact I'm pretty sure that is the only thing we do because conversions is what we actually use uh, as the array and it's never used anywhere but here, okay. So unless globops, that's what I, how I do this, um, what is it, depths? Unless we are including the depths, and I think all of my glob ops are capitalized, but I could be wrong, so let's just say glob op depths. Um, okay, awesome. So now if this is correct, we should be able to verify the, um, the result with minus minus depths. Um, with the, what we had earlier. Um, except, of course, for some reason we decided to sort this list, not the other one. That's okay. So we need kind of a work directory to clean this up. We don't really want to be working in the git directory. So, um, mdcd is the alias I use for, uh, to make a directory then immediately transfer into the directory I just created. And I can easily add that. So make dir 2019-1208. So we're going to use this as a sort of our scratch directory. Okay. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to run bc pop center parse. And this is no depths one. And what I'm going to do here is because we're going to want to compare these at some point, I'm going to go ahead and do a sort. And then minus minus depths, which will be depths one. And let's just take a look, make sure these all look, look good. By the way, transfer dir alias. Dir usually I do uh, ls minus l. So, so these are very similar, I mean, as we sort of would expect. Um, yeah, the changes, like for example, the China, Denmark, the places that have dependent islands, is fairly small. Um, and which is what we would expect, so that's good. Now the only other question is whether or not the um, the thing I've already posted, which is, uh, let's see, BC, um, this should be identical to what is being produced. Whoa, it's not though. Um, and why is it not? Because I had additional data printed there. So this is good. This is a good thing to know. Because um, if I can do that, then it means I can recreate the old version of what I had, which is really good. So here we have the, um, and I think that's the total population or something uh, that uh, of the, uh, one of, the, let's see. So blah, 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 three names, longitude, latitude, R depth, and then something. So maybe, yeah, and I think in both cases I'm, I'm beginning to suspect that I am trying to print something out that's not being printed because I don't usually print with tailing commas. So what am I trying to print here that I, I'm failing to print? Um, the mean unit kilometer? Really? 
so what I need to do here is um, so wherever it is that I'm adding up values I need to do that for um, so that would actually be P area at this point I think and why am I not printing out the population which seems to be and the number of points actually maybe so maybe so let's see the P area I think is the same thing as so this will be Yeah, this doesn't even make sense the way it is right now because that's a C hash quantity. And now again, we're right now we're still trying to get the answers that match the um, so this. And if I really wanted to, we could create like a little make um, a make file here so that we, every time it gets updated. Uh, now let's see how it looks. Now depths and test one looks a lot closer to each other. Um, now let's see if they are yeah they do seem to oh they seem to be a lot different it's not good well hang on 79 versus 526 so um, apparently the P area is not the same thing as the mean unit kilometer but let's see if we can let's see if we can do this instead then so we might actually want to print the P area still but since we need this from the C hash um, this is going to be um, let's see so we, here we store the name before we do anything else and then I guess min unit. You know what? I don't think I care actually. So in fact, what we're going to do here, I don't think I care about P area either, to be honest. Although we might. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to not make sure that the original value is the same as what I want. I'm going to take uh, test one. I guess I, I guess I need to rebuild. Um, depths one as well and no depths okay no depths depths and for test I'm gonna probably just drop the last element see what's going on here it'll be it's really much better when you and that doesn't work because of course I'm not using comma as the separator so I think what I'm gonna do here is um, just remove the everything after the last comma and let's see if that's what I want no because this has to be dot star question mark right so comma I don't know if I need a okay. so it's going to be comma any number of non commas not comma and that should do what I want with a single comma because we happen to have that in our do we actually have that still? No, we got rid of it. So, um, so this, and we'll call that test two dot text. That should very closely match what we had with no, um, depths one. Wow, how close is it? Not that close. Well, twenty lines of difference. Okay, one is because we have mean unit km in in the um, original, which doesn't make sense. Kosovo, State of Palestine, St. Helena. Um, I guess, um, hmm, it's interesting. So apparently St. Helena, Tanzania, uh, and the State of Palestine do have two-letter codes. 
uh, but because they are dependent, I do not apparently recognize them as, as having those. So that's probably not good either. So, so we're having a lot of problems here, I guess, with dependent nations. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, oh, wait a minute, though. With no depths, with depths, that shouldn't be an issue. So where am I changing something to NA? I know I do it very specifically. Uh, unless cc 3 i cc 3 i equals, that's fine. That's not what we're doing, though. We're converting... 3 to 2. Unless we're using some sort of pass through. Uh, let's try it like this. I mean, that shouldn't give us any problems, but it should be. Whoa. I have no idea how that worked. Oh, I'm sorry. It appears that at the original one I was using... Um, yeah, okay. It appears in the original one I was using um, NA to mean... Somehow to mean if there wasn't a 3, three, to, three to 2 conversion it was going to be NA, and I think I got rid of that line, so I don't know if we need this anymore. Uh, apparently every two-digit one has a three-digit one as well. Okay. So I think I'm okay with that. Um, so I guess the only question is, where, what happened to um, BQ? Why doesn't BQ appear in um, in the original test files? Interesting. Okay, but I think I'm fairly happy now that uh, these numbers are correct. So depths one. Um, this includes dependencies as being separate, and um, damn it. Kosovo doesn't have one, doesn't have a two-letter code. I think we'll have to live with that. That might be the only place we have a blank value. Yeah, nice. And no depths, we should never have anything like that at all. Except for that special weird case that no one really likes. Um, let me take a quick look at that special... Oh, the island of St. Martin apparently is uh, collectively owned by Collective de Romans. <laughs> All right. All right, so I think we can now... Let's go ahead and tweak this program a little bit more to see if what else we want from here. We want probably uh, the other things we kept track of were so the population points and P area. Uh, P area, I think, is um, just very ugly. I don't think it has anything to do with the real area, although I guess we could test to see if it does. Um, I mean, it'll be a, it'll be a, a division of the, uh, of the real area. Uh, let's see. So it's, uh, so P area. Um, yeah, what is country number 100? Uh, because what we did here is we took the total area, uh, we took the, added up the cosines of the latitudes of the points <laughs> that correspond to, uh, that correspond to the nation. So, um, um, so let's see, well, let's go ahead and add it in there, only because I want to see what, what it's equal to. Um, so that would be C info dollar sign I P area. C info, and we do add up the points as well, right? Yeah, P area pop. Oh, we actually need the population. Probably that's probably more important than these two things. Um, and now, of course, we can do some of our testing here to see that these numbers are reasonable uh, for these countries, e either with or without dependencies. Um, and we're going to say here, dollar sign I, P area, blah 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 points. 
And I think points probably needs to come... Well, let's just see what this does. So let's go ahead and do this. Um... Yeah, why don't we do this? Less depths one. Oh, pick a country, any country. Um, so we're not looking for the the um, center because that that's not something we we would know. That's what we're computing. But we are looking for, for example, the um, population. Oh, let's be really crazy. Let's go sort minus r, which just randomly sorts things. And we'll only take the first few lines. We Italy. Italy is a good country. Um, so the first thing we want to know is what's Italy's. Uh, th what's the first thing I'm printing there? Population. So let's see. Population. Uh, let's see. I could actually probably just go to 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 Wikipedia and get that. 60.48 million, and this gives us 62 million, and this is for next year, so I'm happy. Um, what we're printing out after that is the number of points that it takes up, which is not because d the points are different sizes. Is uh, No, it's not. It's the P area. The points are the last thing we print. So let's see. Area of Italy. 116,347 miles squared. So if that's suspiciously close to... Um, all right, well, let's just see if our... Well, if that's correct, we should, um, so about 2.5 is the, is the multiplier. So if what we said is correct, if we've done this correctly, then Burundi should have an area of approximately, I may need to restore my calculus, 73560. Let's see what the, uh, area of Burundi is. Ten thousand seven, and we said seventy-three. It's not even close. Um, not even close. Let's see. You've got the population of Burundi anywhere near correct. Ten point eight six million, and this says that seems reasonable. Eleven. Um, so the question is. Whatever the hell this P area thing is that I'm computing, either I computed it hideously wrong, um, I'm not using screen so I can't scroll back, but, um, uh, let's see, so Italy was, oh yeah, we have it right here, um, Oh, actually, did we go the wrong direction? So, my number over area equals 2.5. So my no so this would be over divided by 2.5, not multiplied by 2.5. Well, and that might actually be right. 11,769 miles, where we said uh, 10,747 miles squared. So, um, in the ballpark in the ballpark. Um, I guess technically we could figure it out mathematically. So the P area that I computed was the cosine of the latitude, uh, the cosine of the latitude basically, um, added up. And so at the equator, f uh, one arc second, uh, one 30 arc seconds at the equator would be, I'm too lazy, to, it, it's an easy calculation. It's the only place it'll be like um, so thirty one meters or hundred feet. Um, so one hundred eleven divided by so we're we're talking about so one point eight five kilometers. over 2. So I guess each number that I give is 0.925 kilometers squared. 
So if I give a number of this, once again forgetting that I, I'm going to probably set it to be like no glob or something. Okay. Um, so let's see, what did I say? 29.4? Okay. I probably didn't. Okay, hang on. Times this number here. And because we're uh, dealing in square. So if, if my com computations are correct, this would be this many square kilometers. And that many squared miles. So I don't even remember what the answer was. Hundred sixteen thousand nine three hundred forty-seven, and I'm saying one hundred five thousand. Um, of course, this is actually one point six zero nine three four four, which might have a, an impact. One hundred four thousand, hundred sixteen. So not exactly. So, um, of course, these are rounded to the nearest uh, thirty. These are how many thirty arc second points are covered. Um, still think we can use this. I still think the P area has some some meaning. Um, but I don't really want to put it in the final results, I think. I think that's going to be my decision, is we're not going to put it in the final results. Um, so we are going to put the number of points and the population. We're not going to put the, uh, the guesstimate for the area. So now the other question is, what else do we need to put in before we kind of tie this down. So population points, the actual center point that we want, the name of the nation, all this good stuff. And it is sorted in alphabetical order. We've decided to finally do that. So let's do it. It's with depths. No depths. Let's diff the two, although we should see very little in, uh, in terms of differencing. Um, Aruba, the, uh, these are all dependencies, so we would expect them. China, very small difference. Uh, Denmark, very small difference. Finland, very small difference. Um, France, and that one we don't care about. Um, Falklands, all of these are, of course, dependencies. France, um, not a huge difference there. Uh, Gibraltar is a dependency. Greenland's a dependency. Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with these results, actually. Okay, and now we are going to do the write-up. And this is the ugly part. Uh, and this is the part we... I hate. But it's actually not that bad. Hopefully, with you at my side, you being absolutely no one. Um, yep, nobody. We're going to go ahead and write this up now a little bit. Now, first of all, we need to get this um, uh, depths one. Oh, and actually, I think we need to add headers to both of these. So before we publish them. So depths one. Um, right, and we cannot add headers from the, uh, well, we could actually, couldn't we? Because actually, I think this now uses sort keys, so we're actually fine. Um, so what do we, we, we had a print statement here earlier that actually did this. CC2, CC3, name, the central longitude, the central latitude, R value, which we will explain later. Um, what's the thing after R value? Population. And num points. And of course, we will explain all of these in just a second here. So now, I guess we don't need to do a sort, so let's do this without a sort. Uh, we're just going to... Now let's make sure this comes out somewhat reasonable. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Um, and we might only want to 
print a portion of this as our answer and then just refer back to this as the, as the, uh, um, as the, uh, the fuller answer here. Okay. And of course we'll find some, inter we'll, we'll sort by other ways for the, for the purpose of the, of the answer, which is different from what we're uh, doing here. Now let's, one of the quick quest thing I was worried about was whether, um, The Vatican does manage to make it in here. Thought it did. Oh no, the Pope's going to be mad. There it is. The Holy See of Vatican City um, has one point. Uh, now the question is, will other small nations like San Marino make it in? Um, yeah, they have actually 98 points. Wow. That's a lot of freaking points. Okay, let's take a quick look uh, at the smallest countries. Uh, Vatican is the smallest, of course. 20 smallest countries in the world. St. Kitts and Nevis. I'm wondering if that's going to be in there. Uh, apparently, yes. 415 points for St. Kitts and Nevis. And of course, these, these are not necessarily... Oh, actually, these are... Monaco would be... Monaco and Nauru would be the next ones. Monaco... Um... Six points. Six. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. You can't see that. Six points of data. So apparently we did. We do get them all in there. Um, Nauru is going to be obviously bigger than that, and so on and so forth. Thirty-nine points. Wow. Okay. Apparently these are big enough to be seen. Okay. So now we're going to just copy. Oh, let's be crazy and run the program again and just. Uh, with depths, that's going to be um, BC pop centers with z depths and no depths. Okay, so now we're going to I'm going to go and push this in just a sec. I think we are good to go. And hang on, I don't have any ice. Why am I doing that? Let me push this, and then we'll write it up. And the push will, as always, be named checkpoint, so we, no one has any idea what it really means. That is fairly typical. Um, alrighty. So now, let's write up the answer, and I think we have a place to write it up. And is it readme cock two? Boy. Okay. Um Okay. So sometimes it's useful to actually look at the question when you're answering it, although not not really. Uh Jesus, what's going on here? Um blah blah blah. Okay. Um Okay, I became interested in blah, 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 blah. Okay. He says it's Finland. So, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, one word answer. Iceland. And let's actually confirm that, but I mean, I, I happen to know it's Iceland because I've... So, um... <sighs> not really tired, I just wanted to yawn. It was a fake yawn, actually. and we want to sort by sort minus comma t comma that's the comma is a separator one two three four fifth field um there it is one sentence answer with a population center latitude of cut and paste we have to be a little bit careful here because we're only really going down to the 30 seconds of arc so our precision um, in degrees should be 
uh, 1 over 120, which is about, uh, which is about a hundredth of a degree. We can probably go to three digits without really caring, uh, without really um, screwing anything up. With a population center latitude of Iceland, it has the northernmost central, a population center among sovereign nations, with Finland coming in second at, dun, 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 and Norway coming in close third. We're rounding there. Um, subject to the methodology and caveats below, the population center of <laughs> center among sovereign nations coming in second, <laughs> and Norway coming in third at this location. And we're not going to mention non-sovereign nations right now, but we will in the final answer. Okay. So just make sure we have non-sov versus sov. Okay. And now I think we can do this. Um, we will check to make sure this is correct. But this is how uh, you can sort of um, you can sort of uh, do a little section header in Stack Exchange. So caveats and method methodology. And I want to mention a lot of stuff here, so let's just start with um, the where we got the stuff, and let's go back one page. Um, let's see. I want to make sure we have like uh, the um, national identifier grid. So this is still too, one level too high, actually, and we want to go from here, and we want to mention which which things we used using CSEN gridded population data gridded population data and national what is that national they call it something don't they what needs to be that's still too big for us let's see where is the national grid national identifier grid And I want to mention the um, and it's under uh, let's see national identifier grid. This is the grid. That's the second one. So the first one is population with an estimated 2020 population center latitude. <laughs> this is a huge sentence now. Um, my, I do have a note to mention the vids, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, this sentence is going to be really long, but it'll be broken up enough that it won't be too bad. So I want to make sure I got the right one here. Um, there's only one that gives it for... Oops. It's, it is count, not density. Density is something different. So I think there's only two of them that give it for the year 2020. Administrative unit center points, don't want that. Population count, and I want to make sure there's none other density. Not cr not where we want it. Ooh, wait. Uh-oh. Did we use this one or the other one? Okay. Oh boy. Um, well, our data should actually tell us. So let's take a look at our data real quick here. Where did I put our data? Um, it's under downloads? Uh, population, oh yeah it is, so we use the adjusted to uh, uh, 
Yeah, adjust it to uh, UNWPP totals. So, got to be really careful here because it's there's two things we're talking about: density and count. We don't want density. We do want. Nope, that's density. Make sure this is all one line here. That's how they want it, respectively. Using season at this location under I wrote, and now we mention the lovely program that I wrote, and we can give it as a full. G uh, this should work. Um. Actually, I think I want to mention the directory here because we have other stuff in here. I wrote BC Pop Center and BC Pop Center parse in and we're just going to give the um, the directory, not the whole path to the file. Uh, blah, 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 and, um, to compute the national centers of population. Notes. Sorted north to south. Um, so somewhere I want to mention sort of north to south and these are and we're just going to cut and paste something here um, I really need that alias and here I think we only want um, the first three, uh, you know, two, three, and four here, I think. Um, or we could just give them, uh, we just could give them two files and tell them to go look themselves and just mention the highlights. Let's do that instead. The results, the full results, are in, and once again we're just going to have the directory. Are in the files, and let's see what we're calling this one. And by the way, I wanted to make a KML file out of this whole thing, so I'll make that as a note here that we want to do that. But that's a to-do, and I ma might actually mention that as a to-do to-do. In other words, I might mention in the answer itself when I plan to do that. Um, um, let's see. And... Um, I think it's with steps, right? I meant to say with depths. Yep. There's a V at the end of that. Um where the former treats dependencies. Oh by the way, there will be a couple of weird lines in those files, so I want to mention those. 
and then Antarctica. Sort of an open question there. Its dependencies as belonging to their parent nations. Uh, and the latter treats dependencies as uh, separate nations. Um, All right, so I probably also want to mention that I converted CC2 to CC3 and back. Where I got my list of dependencies um, should probably be in here. So we'll do that. But let's go ahead and um, some highlights. I think we just look. So now we can just do sort minus Iceland, Finland, um, if dependencies, do I need to do a fly, I'll do a fly spell mode. This means Emacs will keep track of um, my spelling. If dependencies are counted as separate nations, these, these guys, Are, have the northernmost center of population. By the way, I do need to explain the columns in this uh, file below the answer. Northernmost. That's a word. No, not northernmost. Northernmost. Centers of population uh, have does, has the northernmost center of population, because even though they're islands that have a single center, it has a center of population, with Greenland at, and again we need to be sig fig mention. I will mention how I limited sig fig figures to three digits. Um, the Greenland at Greenland at coming in second. Iceland is then third. Now, of course, we were, kind of, we're sort of interested in the southernmost as well. If dependencies are counted as separate nations, the Falkland Islands, which we you know are also called the Islas Malvinas. I don't know why they're called that. Our southernmost at minus fifty-eight latitude. But the other southernmost centers of population belong to country, belong to sovereign nations. The southernmost, the nations with the uh, the sovereign nations with the 
Southern Mo. That's how you spell sovereign. Yep, that's how you spell sovereign. Sovereign nations with the southernmost centers of population are, and I could get it from this list, but I'm going to do it the right way and get it from the independencies list. The, the one that are New Zealand with Zealand is perfectly spelled. And again, we need to uh, trim this number down a little bit. Uruguay. Let's just get all these. Let's see. Uruguay with um, it's getting a little bit tedious, I think. Latitude and Chile. Okay. Um, okay, so let's see, that's highlights. Now we need some caveats and stuff. Um, boy, this is getting this is getting dull already. Um so this should just be, well, this really shouldn't be, ca anyway. Um, national grid data does not break out, so it does not separate, does not, national grid data treats dependencies as separate countries. So I used and now I need to figure out where the hell the source of that thing was, the dependent. And I think I actually have that in the original, I mentioned it in the my earlier approach. Um, So I use blah, 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 to convert. This may not be complete. Um, this is not complete, I think, actually, because we know that New Caledonia, for example, does not appear to be complete and thus my results and my results will reflect this. For example, New Caledonia is actually a dependency of France And Kuroaku, which I think is also listed here, yep. there's really no good way to spell Kuroaku. Oh, I guess there is. Netherlands. I briefly tried to. Um, update the Google spreadsheet. I briefly tried to add to the Google spreadsheet, but um, only got as far as these two examples before giving up. Okay. Um, 
National Grid data um, uses three letter country codes, which I converted to two letter country codes. Why did I do that, by the way? I don't know if there's actually a use there. Um, using, actually, I don't know if there is a use there now. I'm kind of. Um, Oh, and I guess could have used this for the um, for the names of the countries as well, huh? Unless they don't. It's interesting. Do they have Karaku listed? Oh, they do, and they have it with a funny little tilde on it. So, uh, I don't even see why that's important. Is there any place where I actually use the two-digit country codes? Probably not, because I'm using the name from. Um, directly from the... Wow, okay. Um, yeah, so this is where we get really boring stuff. The national and population grid data is based on 30 arc second. That's not hyphenated. What the hell do you not like about arc second? word. I'm adding it. And based on 30 arc second by 30 arc second grids. So the latitude, so I give latitudes, so the latitudes are accurate latitudes and longitudes are accurate only to 1 over 1 20th of degree and I give only so I give only three digits of precision actually in, although the files have more precision I guess and it's, it's kind of ugly actually Though the files use full precision, full floating point precision, but of course the accuracy is still limited. Okay, so I've done that. Um, weird innocent file, okay, non sovereign versus sovereign. Mention and ancillary information. We did that. Point to pro scripts. Um, um, so this isn't really a caveat. It's just other notes. I live streamed my. Um, I live streamed solving this. And the recordings are available on my BC coding channel at... I feel like I'm just repeating myself now. But let's see if I can figure out where my... Um, let's see if I can figure out... I'm on a different browser in another place, so if you can't see me, that's fine. I just need to figure out what the URL is for my um, channel, my BC coding channel. Okay. Playlists. Okay. I think it's actually a... Oh, shit. I do have to find it here. My BC Coding playlist at... And I need to also make sure that there are... Playlist at... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I need to sign in, don't I? Woo! Oh. Man, hang on. Oh, wow, it's not even in my... Okay. Um... Why do I have music? 
got com listed here anyway. Um, I keep forgetting this is actually part of my uh, my Google um, my Google account, of course. Um, and let's take a look here. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take forever. Can you stand by? Okay, and my password is... <laughs> can't tell ya. Uh, but I do know what it is. I mean, I'm checking it up now. Hopefully that's it. Yay. It's fine. Um, did you know this? I didn't know this. Okay. Lots of fun. And now you get to know some of the stuff I like, which I really don't want you to know. But it's actually not that bad. Playlists. Now I can do Control A for cut and paste. And let's see. Uh, I don't know if I want to mess with this. I think I can just use the list name without having to um, without having to use the video name. But let's see. Oh, actually, that's a play all, isn't it? So this is actually what I want. Yes, that's the same thing. Let's see what that does. So is there a way to just focus on the list without giving a specific video to play? Let's find out. <whistles> no, they don't like that at all. Um, so... Uh, let's see. Um, with titles, National Centers of Population. Can I cut and paste this? I should be able to write. Kind of. I think they're smart enough to figure it out from, from that. Okay. Mm. I don't know if I actually want to mention OGR info minus AL. I mean, I might end this file separately from this answer. Um, Uh, maybe I will. Let's see. Um, so actually, this conversion would be just a, a note. It's not really a caveat. It doesn't doesn't hurt anything um, because uh, we're pretty sure that data is correct. We don't need to uh, we don't need to uh, disclaim that it might be wrong. Oh, hello, person who is watching. Um, if you want to say your name, you may. If not, you may not. It's up to you. And I believe I recognize you from before. If you'd like to continue with what we did before, please let me know. I'd be happy to switch over to doing that. Um, oh, and one other thing I need to actually fix before I forget is that uh, the time is not working here correctly. So I, do I have a note for that already? Probably do not. Um, and this machine is called La Path. A pause. Okay, so the national grid, which I converted to two letter country codes, uh, doing this, and I live stream the recordings, blah, 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 blah. Um, Antarctica, okay. So I forget where I used OGR info minus AL. Um, 
I think. Oh yeah, to get the country names and stuff. The um, I don't know if I want to mention that. That's pretty trivial, actually. Um, that's just to get the data out of the shape file because that does not. Um, so we'll skip that for right now. Special cases like Falklands and Andorra. Oh, geez. Yep, I'm gonna go. And <laughs> okay. So now we're going a little bit crazy with this, but let's see. Um, National Grid. Uh, let's see. I use the. Let's see. For example, do okay. Let's see the national grid. So I used. Um, the line F R N L. The line. The line starting with F R N L refers to something uh, to St. Martin um, which is apparently not sovereign but co-owned by two nations, although Andorra uh, is, uh, in theory, Andorra should be listed as, as it belongs to both Spain and France for six months a year each. Or belongs to them, belongs to them. Um, but I treat it as a so as a separate entity. Okay, so we want to get get that out of the way. Um, according to GeoNames, Antarctica has a permanent population um, Antarctica has a permanent population but since it is not owned by any nation it does not appear in my results if it did it would by far have the southernmost center of population um, at the Amundsen Scott. Is it Amundsen Scott? I've got to have to get it right. Only a few hundred feet from the South Pole. Gridded population data doesn't cover it. Why is gridded not a word? No, I think it's fine. Okay, gridded pop okay, so now why are we not okay. So Antarctica, blah 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 KML we can do later. ISO is three letters. Explain columns and spreadsheet, mention this file. Special cases like FLX and Andorra, we did that. Uh, mention other answer, mention vids. Check them done. Um, you're getting close actually to the end. I mean, to the end of the answer, then we need in this file to explain what the, uh, the CSV is. Um, But let's see what we can do here. Not mentioning US up commands. Oh yeah, the other answer. Um, 
this was actually my second approach. My first approach was to use geonames, but um, um, By using was to use populated places in GNM geonames. This was actually said my first project was to use populated places in geonames, but this misses a lot of non-urban areas. My partial write-up write-up's the word um, for this approach is at. Um, my write-up for the approach I am, for this approach, for the approach I am using here, is that, oh, I'm going to do this and hope it works. It includes this answer and a this answer and a more thorough explanation of the columns in the CSV files mentioned earlier, which it does. Okay. Now I'm gonna do my own to-do list. Actually, you know, because these are um, sections, we should probably break them out with a so, caveats and method methodology. So this would be, um, this is methodology. Um, highlights. Caveats. And then to do. Oh, hang on. Other notes. Now I realize all but the first one actually have these as list as lists of things, which maybe is a good or bad idea. I don't know. Um, to do. And I guess when I do that, I should make this consistent and say other notes and um, caveats, and I think that's fine. Other notes um, to do. I'd like to create a KML file of these population centers just for fun. Okay. Now, a weird line sin file. I don't know what that means, so I gotta be careful here to do. KML. Mention things, click on columns in the spreadsheet, mention the file as an answer. That's not that answering point as well. So we're pretty close now to actually finishing up this answer. Um, caveats, other notes. Okay. Answer ends here. Spreadsheet column explanation starts here. Um, to have the columns labeled, I don't think this is going to be a major issue. Um, I'm just going to sort of mention, um, um, <laughs> oh, I need to mention the techniques that I used. Methodology. And I might as well start doing this. And actually, I mentioned the Wikipedia okay. um, 
I use, well, I'm not going to put in all this um, crap. Make it different results. I use the mean center, also known as the center center of gravity. Okay, good stuff. Um, dependence of plane columns, plane columns and spreadsheets. So let's do that, and that should not be too hard because the first line will tell us exactly what. Um, doesn't matter because we're gonna oh mention Vatican that's actually that appear in um, highlights caveats highlights um, the 30 arc second by 30 arc second by um, do I actually mention how big the grids are beforehand? I think I do, actually. Um, that's actually highlights. Uh, the, the Holy See of Vatican City Vatican City covers only one 30 arc second by 30 arc second grid point whereas on the opposite end of the spectrum I'm going to say it's going to be Canada but let's find out uh, let's even do it with depths And I think it's going to be, let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Holy crap! <laughs> the Russian Federation covers forty one million. There are, well, let's figure out how many there are. Um, so 360 times 180, that's just the number of degrees going each way. Times 60, times 60, times 2, times 2. And boy, I need another definition of calc. And this actually seems right, because I actually looked at this once. And there's 33 million, 120,000. Um, grid points of 30 arc seconds by 30 arc seconds each. On on the planet on the Earth. Total on the Earth. One of these grid points. Whereas, whereas, Russian Federation covers 41 million of them. Um, because each grid point uh, does not have the same area, it's only a coincidence. It's a coincidence of sorts that these are also the smallest and largest countries by area. Okay. <laughs> okay, have we really beaten this to death now? I, we did mention the Vatican. I might sit on this answer after giving it before posting it, so... Um, spreadsheet column next, okay. CC2, the two-digit...
country code. CC3, the three di uh, the two character country code. The three character country code. Name the country's name. See long the country, the longitude of the country's population center um, and that the answer, we, the, we talk about dependencies above CLAT. The latitude of the country's population center. And now we give them a little bit of bonus. Um, R value. The length of the central vector uh, as compared uh, as a fraction of the Earth's radius. This measures how spread out the population is. A value of 1 means the population is effectively in one location. <sighs> and of course we're going to have to do a um, we're going to have to do a, uh, a sort on it, aren't we? And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the Russian, it's not really surprising the Russian Federation is, is the, uh, and the Vatican is, um, wow, Monaco's, uh, uh, um, lower values mean the population is more spread out. Small countries, how far down the list is, wow. And why is Guam listed as a... Alright. Confederation. Why is Guam still listed as a... I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Small countries, unsurprisingly, The Russian Federation has the lowest R value at and again, I'm going to be a little bit careful how far I want to go with the uh, as the Holy See of Vatican City has the highest R value at 1. That wasn't really as exciting as I thought. Total population as computed by the population grid. Since I used the UN population, what did I call it again? Uh, adjusted. Since I used the UN um, adjusted population count this should be close to the nation's actual population. And yeah, this is actually less exciting than I thought it would be. Um, so num points, the number of grid points included in this country. I don't know what the hell the... I'll just call this my notes so people don't F with it. Column explanation. And I don't think I need to say the answer ends here anymore. Okay, so now the question is have I missed out anything here? I don't think I have. Um, and they call it a spreadsheet, but it's actually a CSV file. I'll call it CSV file. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty good, decently long answer that'll confuse people. Always, always useful. And I suspect I'm missing something really big. Like, there's some big thing that I'm not doing um, that I need to be doing. So, I might just post this and update if necessary, but although I, I worry. So let's take a look at what other files we have in here. Um, just pops in our output. National grid. Oh, yeah. Um, results, results, dependencies. Um, okay, so let's, let's see. Call these my personal notes so people won't know what the hell they're t I'm talking about. And so here I get to mention the OGR info. Um, this file. Was created. Via, and I think the Perl script actually says exactly how I created it, so. I think we can uh, safely look at this here. No, actually, I think it's the OGR info created using um, I think I can get rid of this, the path here. Um, to obtain meta information about countries without seeing their polygons. Um, without seeing their polygon data. Okay, so now you can get that one in nice. And so let's see if there's any other files here. I, I just get the feeling I'm doing something really wrong here. Someone should probably tell me that. With depths, parse, output, CC2 to CC3. I suppose I could mention I converted um, um, Yeah, it's going to be up here somewhere. Um, which I converted to CCC2 to CC3.CSV in do I have that mentioned enough times? Cow. Cow. All right. So now, I don't know what the hell Cal One Ping is. I just that is just weird. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Okay. So peanut gallery. Anybody? What am I missing from this answer? Um, all right. I sense I'm doing something wrong. I sense I'm missing some really critical step here. But let me read my answer over real quick here, and then we'll just go ahead and post it. Um, so blah, 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 under you and methodology, how I did it, highlights, uh, wrote the Perl script. Um, um, let's see. I think I've beaten this thing to death now. 
So let's answer this question, and it was under open data. Well, actually, it's right here. Okay, so this should be fairly funky. So I should be able to do start the, uh, the buffer here, end it all the way down here. Copy region. Hey, I said copy region. Wait, what? No. I think that's meta W actually. And um, and let me check, make make look that it looks okay. Um, one sentence answer. Blah 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 blah. Whoa 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 whoa. Norway doesn't come in at that value. No 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 no. I meant to um, clip that. Let me clip it in my answer too because I am not going to... Okay, let's go back to here. Um, <laughs> okay. Let the answer be posted. Okay, I think I'm fairly happy uh, with this answer, and I'm also fairly happy that I'm exhausted. Um, why did I get a minus two? Who minus two'd me? No. Okay, and if uh, anyone wants to say anything now, good time to say something in the next minute or so. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream. We have been streaming for two hours and 17 minutes. So that's that's a lot of fun. Okay. Give you another 22 seconds to respond here. Only because that's going to be the top of the minute. As you can see by... Oh, you can't see that, can you? I keep forgetting. As you can see... Well, as you can't see from here because this is totally wrong, I do need to fix the date there. All right. Five seconds. Two seconds. Negative two seconds. Fooled you, huh? All right. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye. Or thank you, no one, and goodbye.